All right, so this is an important topic, how to find the mean and variance of uh, sum and difference of uh, two random variables. So you have random variables x and y to start with, uh, with the joint density function fxy. Uh, so the problem is, suppose we define z to be x plus y or x minus y, or in general, let's say some linear combination, ax, by, how do you find the mean and variance so, of these random variables? Notice that if I can do this, then all these are special cases. Uh, so let me start with the uh, z equal to ax plus uh, by. Let me find the mean and variance of z. So mu <coughs> mean of z is expected value of z. That's expected value of ax plus by. So that's a multiplied by expected value of x plus b multiplied by expected value of y. So we get a mu x plus b mu y. So the linearity holds. Uh, so the whole point is expected value of ax plus by. is, x, uh, is uh, a times expected value of x uh, plus b times expected value of y. So the more important uh, interesting thing is what is the variance of z? So that's of course expected value of z minus mu z the whole square. So we can substitute for z, which is expected value of ax plus by, that's a z, minus a mu x plus b mu y, that's its mean, squared. And I can collect the a terms, so he, here you have the variance of ax plus by is expected value of a times x minus mu x plus b times y minus mu y, the whole square. So I have three terms. If I expand, I have a squared, expected value of x minus mu x, the whole square, plus the middle term, 2ab, expected value of x minus mu x multiplied by y minus mu y. So notice that this is the covariance of x comma y. And the third term, which is b squared, multiplied by expected value y minus mu y the whole squared. So this is sigma y squared, or this is sigma x squared. So we have this interesting result. Variance of ax plus by is three terms, a squared multiplied by sigma x squared, that's the variance. But covariance is, remember, covariance was defined as covariance of x comma y over sigma x, sigma y is rho x y, the correlation coefficient. So if you cross multiply, you get covariance of x comma y is rho x y sigma x sigma y. So we can also put this as sigma x, sigma y, rho x, y. So this is 2ab, uh, sigma x, sigma y, uh, rho x, y, plus b squared, sigma y squared. So three terms. You can also write this as a squared multiplied by variance of x plus 2ab multiplied by covariance of x comma y plus b squared multiplied by variance of y. So the interesting thing is you, the, when the variance, uh, when you multiply a random variable by a constant, the variance gets uh, scaled by the square of the constant. So of course, in particular, if the random variables are independent, then the covariance or correlation is zero. 
you get only the first and the last term. So I'll summarize it here. So the summary is the <coughs> variance of, uh, or the mean of x, ax plus uh, by is a times the respective expected value of x plus b times expected value of y. And the variance of ax plus by is a squared variance of x plus 2ab covariance of x comma y plus b squared variance of y. Now, if x and y are independent, a special case, if x and y are independent, then the middle term goes away. Uh, then variance of ax plus by is simply a squared sigma x squared. So middle term goes away because the covariance is 0 uh, plus b squared sigma y squared. So I'll summarize it one more time here. So you have variance of uh, variance of a ax uh, plus by is a squared sigma x squared uh, plus 2ab sigma x sigma y rho xy uh, plus b squared sigma y squared from here. Uh, so we have variance, of, a special case is variance of x plus y. So notice that a and b are 1. So this is sigma x squared. And last term is sigma y squared. But we also have a middle term, a and b equal to 1. So 2 sigma x, sigma y, rho xy plus sigma y squared. So variance of x minus y. Of course, you put b equal to minus 1. So this is sigma x squared. This becomes 2 my, because b is minus 1 plus sigma y squared. So in, in particular, if, uh, if x and y are independent, then rho xy is 0. So the middle term goes away. So you get variance of x plus y or x minus y. Both will be the sum of the variances. Right, because the middle term goes away. But this is, I want to emphasize that this is only good if they are independent or they are uncorrelated. You don't need even independence if they are uncorrelated is good enough. Again, same thing here. If you, you, of course, if they are independent, the variance will be the same. Even if you replace this by uncorrelated, that is still true, because rho will be 0. So again, here, if uh, x, y are uncorrelated, then variance of uh, ax plus by, you, this, middle, this term will be 0. So that will be a squared sigma x squared plus b squared is sigma y squared. Notice that there is an a squared and b squared. Of course, if a is plus minus 1 or b is plus minus 1, it will be the sum. So this is a very special case. The variance of the sum is the sum of the variances if the two random variables are uncorrelated. Variance of the difference is not the difference of two random uh, the variances. It's also the sum of the variances 
if the two random variables are uncorrelated. If the random variables are not uncorrelated, you have to use these formulas. The whole point is whether you add or subtract a second random variable, notice that what happens. Once you do anything to add or subtract, the variance, the overall variance increases, not decreases. So you cannot <coughs> add two uh, uncorrelated quantities and expect the variance to go down. Remember, in this case, we are considering the special case. Of course, if, uh, if you know the correlation coefficient is uh, positive, you see you can play games because by subtracting the random variables, you can actually make the variance of the difference lower than the sum of the variances, etc. So once again, if there are no conditions are there, ax plus by, the variance is the, has the sum of three terms, a squared sigma x squared plus b squared sigma y squared, but there is also a middle term 2ab involving the correlation coefficient. Of course, if the correlation coefficient is zero, you have two terms, a squared sigma y squared, b squared sigma y squared plus. So if a and b are plus one or minus one, the variance of the sum or difference, if they are uncorrelated, is still the sum of the variances. So of course, if you have 2x plus y, 2x plus y here, this will be 4 sigma x squared plus sigma y squared, etc. So saying that the if you add two random variables, their variance is the sum is only true in this special case, which when x and y are either independent or independent or at, at the least uncorrelated. Because then rho x y is zero, and only the first term and the last term matters. So the two random variables are uncorrelated, then both their sum and difference variance is the sum of the variances.